Yeah. There we go. All right, good morning, guys. We are out in the Gulf of Mexico. We're here with Connor from Sword Tools. We are heading out to the reef. It's opening day of snapper, and we're gonna go try and get a couple big ones. Uh, we're gonna also go hit a, a couple fads, try and catch some mahi, and uh, hopefully we'll have a fish to bring back and cook on the tailgate. We're all set up to uh, cook some really fresh fish. So we're trolling some uh, King Mackerel rigs right now. Connor's got a hardtail on. I've got a uh, frozen cigar and we'll see what happens. And I lost my bait again. Freaking triggers. Hey, let's see, hook a bonita here. Get some good fresh bait. Oh, they're coming right for us, aren't they? God, that was instant. Ah, come on. Oh, they're so strong for little fish. Man, that's almost drop, drop in size. Was that the size you caught your amberjack on? Oh, Golly. Oh, that, that one's smaller. Wow. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. That was a big goof. Oh my God, golly, golly. All right, tuna sticks down for the count. Dude, that was, that's like the worst backlash I think I've ever seen. Ooh, nice and sharp. All right, we should be able to catch something now with all these different baits. All right, let's try Bonita Chunk. There we go, finally. Uh, might be a keeper. Not a bad little eating size. Stop it. No, 15. Yep. Hey, at least we caught one now. All right. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Oh, this keeper. All right, come on. Come on, get up. Oh yeah, that's keeper. Whew. Anyway, he ain't big, but 
he'll eat. The way it's gone this morning, I'm not gonna be picky. <laughs> All right, now I got you. Oh yeah, he's 17. Yep. Now I'll be more picky. Got one in there. Sometimes, I mean, they'll both bump it pretty good sometimes. Yeah. There you go. What's up? That was bigger than I thought. Now get it. Huh? I don't know. He's going to be borderline. No, he's 16. Two. Yeah, I'll hold out for a bigger one since I already got a 17. Right, Connor's got some more bait for us. I don't know if there's any keepers. They're still fun to catch. He's a lot bigger than the one I caught. That's about double the size of the one I caught. There we go. I don't know what this is. Yep, big mangrove. Nope. Big red. You cut them in the throat, or do you just? I just I just cut the gill. I just pop the gill. Here, I'll throw them in. Oh, that would have been bad. Got it. Thanks. Thanks for saving the rod. I don't. Leader, maybe I can. You got one. Woo -hoo -hoo. What is that? All my lines are up, so you're good. Let me back up, get out of your way. Good one. The snapper or mangrove? That's fighting like a big snapper. Big gag grouper. Is it? <laughs> no. Oh. Gotta be a keeper. Well, it's fighting. Yeah, he's a keeper. That's a nice one. Good one, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, got him. Woo! <laughs> ha yeah. Nice. Holy moly, that's a that's over 20. Hey, here you go. Maybe the bite's just turning on. Nice. That's a beast. He took it. Got him. Oh, he dropped it. I had him for a second. All right, I used half a cigar and I buried the hook completely. No hook is exposed. Dude, there's a giant mangrove looking at it. Got him, oh, pulled the hook.
Yeah. That is a good mangrove. Yeah. I watched him eat. That was so awesome. Do you see him? I'm gonna make sure my net's ready. Oh gosh. Oh, there he goes again. The best buddy just FaceTime me is perfect timing. Guy's strong, man. over a little bit. They may have like gone back to the reef. Cause I'm not seeing them. Are you? No, I, they look like they're a little deeper. The ones that I did see. Oh, oh wait, they're back. Do you see them? I think. Can't even see mine now. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I'm in your line, crap. Sorry. Oh, you got it. That's awesome. No, big red. Wow. Woo. We were... They were right. We were way off the reef there when I hooked that. Twenty-four. I don't know if there was a fish under me. Oh, I'm on. Oh, God dang. Holy cow. Do you see the size of it? Don't get hung up, Nat. There we go. All right. Ah. Uh, wow. That's the biggest mahi if I if I can land them. Got him. Woo! Oh shoot! He's going through the net. He poked a hole in my net. Stop it! Ow! Yeah. Now I got you. Oh, he's not as big as I thought, but he's still good eating size. All 
All right, I'm not letting the fish grips go until he's in the cooler. All right, we got the big girl here. We got to clean. And uh, if you've ever cleaned a red snapper, you know how tough those scales are. So to get through the scales, we're gonna use the sword serrated blade. So I haven't used it yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna do our initial cut right here. Ooh, ow, right in the middle of my finger. Okay. Oh, a little too far. There we go. All right, Got through the scales there. And this is where this, oh yeah. That's 10 times better than a regular knife cutting through those scales. That's just going through like butter. Oh, ow. Yeah, it's sharp. All right, so we got through the scales on this side. So we'll switch back to the flex knife and then we'll start going against the bone all the way down to the spine there. Now we're over the spine, so we wanna get this, where we can lift it. Get up with those ribs there. All right, now, go all the way down. And again, I'm not an expert at this. I'm still getting better at cleaning fish. That's a pretty good slab of meat. That is a good old slab of meat right there. Nice. All right, now we'll just repeat. This time I'll try not to poke a hole in my hand. <laughs> All right, so now this is the easy part, the snapper. All you gotta do is get your blade close to the edge and then just slide it down because you're, you're not gonna cut through the skin. Look at that. That's a good looking filet there. All right, we made it back to the kitchen. So we got the red snapper cleaned. See it there. Looks really good. Just got some garlic and herb seasoning on it. Uh, we've got a really simple fish recipe for you today. So it's only gonna take I like 10 minutes prep time, 15 minutes cook time, and it's ready to go. All right, here's the ingredients, guys. It's two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of minced garlic, two to three tablespoons of minced parsley, and about a cup and a half of diced cherry tomatoes. So it's a pretty simple recipe. We're gonna put the cherry tomatoes on top here of the fish. Just want to like lightly arrange them so they're on top. All right, so we got those pretty much covered. All right, so we're going to take this, we're going to put it under the broiler for about six minutes on this side. You want this close to the broiler because you want this to cook really fast. We're going to start on the sauce. Let's get this heated up. We're gonna put some olive oil in here, about two tablespoons, about like that. We're gonna let that get hot and we're gonna put our garlic in now. And so we'll know when it's getting hot cause that garlic's gonna start to brown and sizzle. That's looking real good in there. Tomatoes are sizzling. So when that timer goes off, we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna flip the fillets. This is our other side. You know how much I like the air fried potatoes. Next thing we'll add to the sauce is the vinegar and the parsley and a little seasoning. So 
see that garlic starting to sizzle right when it starts to turn brown. Turn that heat down a little now. Right when that starts to turn brown, we're gonna add the balsamic vinegar. Check on our fish. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. It is starting to brown. So let's add vinegar. That's going to thicken up a lot. Alright, fish is ready to flip. Okay, now this is the tricky part. We've got to flip these. Flip it in pieces. Okay. We want to get all those tomatoes up there. Right next to it, put a little more seasoning on. That's what I'm using for this one. All right, we'll get these back in for another couple minutes. Okay. Let's do that for about three more minutes. Let's get this sauce done. All right, so you can see that sauce is thickening up. Let's put a little more balsamic vinegar in there, heat that up, and then we're gonna add the parsley to it. All right, let's add the parsley. All right, sauce is looking good. Fish is just about done. All right, we're gonna let the fish cool a few seconds. Okay, we're gonna add some fresh cracked pepper to the sauce. And a little salt. All right. Okay, we're gonna let this sauce thicken for just a second before we put it on the fish. Let's get Michelle's plate set up first. All right, now it's time to get mine. There you come. All right, leave Michelle enough for breakfast tomorrow. All right, let's get our sauce on. And get some taters. Oh yeah. See how this tastes. Okay, that's like ridiculously good. Yeah. This was so easy. Oh my God. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is definitely going on the list. So, super simple recipe. I mean, there's only like six or seven ingredients in the whole thing, and you can do it in like under 20 minutes. So, fresh red snapper was amazing. Potatoes are great. Sauce is awesome. So I hope you guys learned something on the catch and cook. And if you do like the video, don't forget like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.